Big changes could be coming to IPFW's campus. The IU Board of Trustees voted to separate Indiana and Purdue universities. And now it's up to Purdue's Board of Trustees to decide if that will happen. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson has more on tonight's top story. There's 13,000 students on this campus who would be impacted by this move. The news came down earlier today, and students say there's really mixed emotions about it. This is where Indiana University meets Purdue University. But if IU's Board of Trustees have their way, that could all change. A lot of people were getting both IU degrees and Purdue degrees. Now a lot of them are hanging in limbo. Earlier today, the Board of Trustees voted to split the two universities. IU would focus on health sciences, and Purdue would focus on all other academics. It's kind of divided because there are some students that aren't affected by this, so it's not mattering to them. But others are uncertain. We don't know if we get to get grandfathered in as far as if you have an IU degree. Uh, we don't know if we will be able to keep our IU name on our degrees. We don't know if our Purdue name will change on our degrees. Tim Wilborn came to IPFW to get a degree in business from IU. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Purdue degree in business, but the accreditation level is not the same. The split isn't official until Purdue's Board of Trustees decides, but a yes or no vote from the board could determine if Wilborn stays or goes. I have not signed up for my spring semester classes because if the degree changes to Purdue, I'm not paying for another semester. Andy Downs is the president of the faculty senate. He says the goal is to have as little impact on the students as possible. But he says the split will likely mean a drop in enrollment. We're basically talking about creating two smaller campuses than the one we have right now. And there will be some students who will say they don't want to go to a school that is that small. Purdue is expected to adopt the plan. If so, that would mean redefining the university. This is a moment forced on us, whether we like it or not, to sort of take a look at ourselves and ask ourselves what we are. The Purdue Board of Trustees will vote on December 16th. If they vote for this plan, it'll take effect in 2018. Reporting from IPFW, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.